Tech won the toss and opted to take the football to start. And they will start at their own 25-yard line. And now they'll face third down and five as Gibbs is tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Backfield to the right of Sims on third down and five. Four-man rush. High throw. Incomplete. Sheridan Jones had the coverage on Malachi Carter. Three-man rush, long throw, back shoulder, one-on-one, -on -one, and it is on time for a first down to Cornell Powell. Watch the pace of the football, the trajectory. I'll take a little off of it, back shoulder, to allow Powell to track it. This is a run opportunity with the yardage for Clemson. Etienne spins, yards after contact. He lost the football. Is it ruled a fumble? If it is, it's a Georgia Tech takeaway. And the Jackets have the football. See the spin off? Okay. Watch the punch right there. Ball out. What a start for Georgia Tech's defense. Forcing the fumble. One of the best packs in the country. Yellow Jacket ball. And now Jeff Sims, the true freshman quarterback, back to work at his own 22-yard line. Play action on first down. Steps up. He lost the football. That was ripped away. And Georgia Tech... Got it back, Miles Murphy, another true freshman. Murphy, left side of your screen, watch him beat the guard. Okay, and inside that tackle with that rip, because the pressure's coming outside and just the effort to get to the quarterback, to rip at the football. Quarterback run could be something where you can catch them and be a good play. A screen that goes nowhere. Watch Mike Jones, number six, just drop down, mirror the back. He's playing out of safety possession. He just mirrors the back with the ball gets snapped. In yard net loss after the fumble recovery for Georgia Tech. Harvin to midfield. Rodgers returnable. And he gets tripped up, but well across the 50. They'll mark him down at about the 41 yard line of Georgia Tech. Curtis Ryans and Charlie Thomas combined to knock that ball out. Here's Lawrence off play action. Bullets one to the sideline. And that is good for a first down, getting a toe down the freshman, E.J. Williams. This football just getting ripped to E.J. Williams. Really good awareness of where he is on the sidelines to get that foot down. That's one of those honey hole shots. Here comes a blitz. Picked up, slant over the middle, Amari Rogers. First and goal, Clemson. Watch him set the safety, set him down, drop him. Little fake to the outside. Turn your head to the quarterback, ball on your chest. Back shoulder, end zone, easily done for the touchdown to Cornell Powell. Look at the route, bottom of the screen, set that defender real quick. Great throw by Trevor Lawrence. Feeling good and gets the coach's football team. Here comes a blitz on third down. A screen behind it to Gibbs. He's got a first down and more. Play action. Sims, he's going to look up top. He's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. He's got Jalen Camp. Touchdown. Deep cross by this receiver up top. That's going to take that safety. Let's play it and show the route by Jalen Camp. Beautiful job of motion, getting that safety. Now freeze it. Jalen Camp, now you have to beat that one-on-one -on -one matchup. When you win, set him on the outside, you have the whole field to cross. That's how this touchdown happens. That safety takes the crosser. Beautiful throw by Jeff, Jeff Sims. Jalen Camp, you got to win on your route. Outstanding job. Play design and execution. Watch safety come down. Great job by Sims, and I love the throw. Get it out early on one hitch. Understand you can bring him across the field, Jalen Camp, for the Yellow Jacket touchdown. I know when you watched Jeff Sims on tape this past week, you think his future is every bit oh. as bright. Is it anyone who said no to me when it came to recruitment in high school? I want them to lose every game. Trevor Lawrence, he's going to look up top. He's got a man behind the defense. Once again, it's Amari Rogers, and he'll go the distance. Anything you can do, I can do better. This is a traditional. Got more. Yeah, this is a traditional play. That's called like Fox X, Fox 2 X and Y hook, where you just sit that tight end down in front of a safety, 
And then you got outside leverage on Amari Rodgers, and that's easy for him. Watch the patience off the line of scrimmage. Great eyes by Trevor Lawrence. Little play fake. Confirm what I'm seeing. And then great trajectory. Again, beautiful air on that throw. But that's too easy for 16 and 3. I think three's route running is, is so special. And we kind of box him in as a, a slot receiver, a possession guy. They responded very well in the immediate aftermath of the Dak Prescott injury. As Georgia Tech goes to work, Sims, he may have had the ball taken away on a low snap. Clemson's got it. A disaster for Georgia Tech. Going left for that quarterback snap in the shotgun. K.J. Henry just explodes off the ball and gets to it. You can see Sims trying to gather it right there, and K.J. Henry's just right there. The advantage of a 3-4 defense. Lawrence, throwing down. The blitz works, and it's a negative play. And shoot the gap between the guard and the center. That's Tra Travis Etienne's guy, and it just happened so quickly. This is called timing a blitz. Don't give it away, because then the back will be ready for it. Great job. So well. Lawrence out of the pocket, third down and 17. He's going to try and run for it, and he will get the field goal group some real estate. And from 30 yards out, Clemson is able to grab three points off the takeaway, and they have a 10-point lead. Against Georgia. And here comes a blitz for Clemson. Under pressure, Sims tries to turn the corner and can't do it. Hard to beat the speed of this Clemson defense. From Clemson, they get it in. Here comes the pressure. Sims does a good job of sitting in the pocket. Okay, nothing's there. Let me go. But then there's the reaction by Booth. You know, he's playing in his zone. Blitz picked up. And the first down picked up. Marty as well by Trevor Lawrence. 16's as talented as any college football player I've ever seen. As he throws an interception. Right on cue. Marty, the announcer jinx. Works to perfection as Amari Walton off the pick brings it back into plus territory. And Georgia Tech has the football back as Trevor Lawrence throws his first interception in a year. Part of it, but I just want everyone to watch at about the 34 yard line. Watch the punch by the corner on the receiver. Just watch that throws him off right there, right? Punch right there. That just throws off his timing, his steps for power just for a second. Terrible decision by Trevor Lawrence. I'm not saying the pressure doesn't matter, but the everybody doing their part for that defense is huge. And that punch just made that receiver. Bunch set at the bottom of the screen. And Sims will roll the other way on quarterback run and get tracked down well short of the first down. You see the space that they've created? Like this should be quarterback run in some aspect. A little flip shovel pass. And now what do you do if you're Georgia Tech? I would think this would be four down territory. Run to the football and, and try to get some snapped off here. Got to go for it. And they will. And they won't get it. Jameer Gibbs brought down for a loss of at least a couple of yards. Valen Spector came through and helped and support. Just to change the line of scrimmage. I mean, Pickney just pushes Ryan Johnson back. Down to recover by a player other than the fumbler. It has been returned to the... And a long two close to three here for Trevor Lawrence. A bullet to Rodgers. It's a midfield and easy third down conversion. Four-man rush. And a pitch and catch first down again. See pressures coming at the bottom of the screen. Great job by Trevor Lawrence. A little pitch fake and a wide open seam route for Davis Allen. The tight end finds pay dirt. What a fake by Trevor Lawrence. Boy, it looked like he froze the entire defense with that fake pitch. After Braden Galloway was the favorite target for Trevor Lawrence against Miami. He is feeding his tight ends these last two weeks. Out of the quarterback's hands and how do you protect him? He's going to try to protect himself with his legs. And keeps the play alive. What a move by Jeff Sims. And then gets walloped. And out come the flags. Bale Inspector may have lowered his head. Right. Getting to go that along launch, with right? Crowd of the Helmet. A crouch with an upward thrust. A launch. And that was a very quick review by the booth from Ari Rogers. He's the only kind of question mark for them moving forward. Was, like, was he going to be able to take the jump? And he has. 
Lawrence to Etienne. Down the sideline goes Travis Etienne. Not just a third down conversion. Uh, watch the receiver coming from the left side of the screen. Just kind of create traffic on Carpenter right there. Good job by Lawrence of getting that ball out in front. And then Etienne getting his head around. Changing the viewpoint of him as an NFL prospect for organizations. Lynn J. Dixon picks up the first down easily. Five-yard gain on third down and one, Marty. Play action. Lawrence fires one over the middle. Wide open. Amari Rogers leaps a man looking for the pylon. And he's out of bounds at the one. Finish athletically. The hop over. Almost getting into that end zone. Look at the eyes. Okay, look right. Confirm, look left. Now snap back and find Rodgers crossing the field. That's that's what it's called, post-snap recognition. Understanding. Brian Brzee, the true freshman defensive tackle. He'll be the fake. Niles Pinckney, instead a 300-pound defensive tackle. Takes the handoff at fullback. Boy, try tackling him. They can't. It's a touchdown. It helps when you move people like that. And then what do you tell the linebacker? Like, hey, man, go stop those 300 pounds. Here comes the dance. I wish I knew the name of this dance. I should. <laughs> it almost looks, there's a little Merton Hanks in there. Third down and 10. Sims, pocket collapsing. Down he goes. No chance to escape the rush. Look at Sims, okay, like you feel like there's so much chaos around you. It's really only a four-man rush. But all those moving parts, all the color that you see crossing your face or moving around the field, fuse and get a quarterback uncomfortable and unconfident in third-down situations. Amari Rogers with a fair catch. It's year for LSU. Certainly Ed Orgeron brings that to mind as Trevor Lawrence goes back to work on first and ten and finds a pitch and catch out to the flat to Cornell Powell. But when you think about the totality, Dan Orlowski, of Trevor Lawrence. He trades athletically, and then is, is, are you smart enough? Do you understand coverage, protections, all those things? ETN picks up a first down. He said, y'all go home with my players and tell them they're better off there than they are here. The mental health of these young men is very important. Lawrence over the middle for completion. What is that, Bob? 15 yards? At least. Just trying to soak this in and enjoy the moment. A little shuffle pass forward on the trick play. Springs a run down the sideline by Brandon Spector. And when you're talking about... Lawrence on a rollout, whips one into the end zone. Touchdown, Frank Latson. And this one shows an even more expanded skill set. Look at the flip. Can, I mean, the flip, like the flip of the hips and the shoulders and then the drive of the football. Watch. This is how it's done, folks. Right-handed quarterback. Turn. Get your shoulder, that left shoulder pointed forward, and then drive that strike. This is why he's such a big-time prospect. Get those hips moving left, but square the upper body up and just throw that rip passionate about and he cares about for, for his teammates. Jeff Sims off play action. Throws an interception. Using a stiff arm down the sideline, Nolan Turner. And once again, it is goal to go for Clemson. And then in 2016, he passed away a victim of ALS. Oh, if he could see his son now. Great discipline, though. We've mentioned his name a couple times with discipline. Just watch him play where he's supposed to be. Hang where you're supposed to be. Hang your heart's supposed to be in that alley, that hash. Be in between the quarterback and that slant receiver. Tied together. Everyone doing their job for that defense. ETN bouncing it to the pylon. Easy done for the touchdown. Jameer Gibbs for about six yards on first down. I'm a slow thinker. Give me, give me a couple minutes to think about this one. Here. Jeff Sims with a handoff again to Gibbs. And Gibbs breaking tackles. How about that run by the true freshman? 15 more. Run hard. Watch the right side of the offensive line. Just give him a crease. Great set with your feet. Cut. Continue to move. Continue to move. Then watch the finish. And could you become a better pass receiver? Check. Outstanding player for Clemson. Sims hit as he throws. Tipped ball. Incomplete.
Amir Gibbs, nowhere near the first down. Made the catch and immediately waffled. But it's all about everyone doing their job that makes it work. And Jay Dixon, reversing fields, just about ran up the backside of Trevor Lawrence. And this worked out okay for the Tigers as he's across midfield with a first down run. Less than 30 minutes. Play action. Lawrence out of the pocket. Just barely gets to the line of scrimmage. And he finds Davis Allen again. This is great pocket awareness. Wait, wait, get the four in the progression. Not there, okay, leave. Ice that field. See Davis Allen there, great awareness of him on the sideline. You got one-on-one -on -one in the slot. Lawrence, back left corner of the end zone for Amari Rogers, and they do it again. Another Clemson touchdown. This throw, this is an awful coverage. High and outside. That is high and outside. That ball needs to be in a four-inch by four-inch box for it to be complete. And that is absolutely perfection by Trevor Lawrence and Amari Rogers. I love you today when you're down big to the number one team in the country. Just keep fighting. Fight for what we're building because we're building something special here in Atlanta. That's the message, guys. I love you. I want to see Trevor Lawrence trust the pocket here, hang in there and get through a progression. Another deep ball, and this one out of the reach of E.J. Williams, the freshman. Good start defensively for Georgia Tech. Good punt from Spires all the way down inside the 25-yard line, and an immediate stop on special teams for Clemson. As you can have when your team's down 52-7, to and Jameer Gibbs breaks tackles and gets free. Picks up a first down and more out to the 40-yard line. I believe in everything that he says and, and kind of envisions for this program, and it's going to happen. I truly believe it's going to happen. Dante Smith, a first down and more as he's breaking some tackles. And Marty, he's running hard for Jeff Collins. As long as you commit to it and you get the guys and you put in the, the sweat equity, equity, it'll happen. Can you get players at Georgia Tech? Absolutely. I'm telling you, the state of Georgia is loaded with high school talent. Class with Jeff Sims now facing fourth and eight. Here comes a blitz right up the middle. And boy, it is tough to diagnose where all the pressure is coming from. From that Clemson defensive front. And they get a takeaway on downs. Brent Venables. And it looks like the quarterback switch has been made by Clemson as expected. It's Chez Malusi. Third down and 12. The pocket collapses and he will go down. Connecticut young man from Connecticut. They produce nothing but stellar quarterbacks, just so everyone knows. According to the poll, and yet right now you are 1% as the ball pops up in the air. Out of the hands of Jeff Sims. Is it a takeaway for Clemson? It is. As Sims coughs it up, it was ruled to be a fumble. Pressure off the edge. And that's it it's just, he just lost the grip. That's definitely a fumble. And Maskell, it just fell right into his lap. You know, I'm, I'm seeing his hand, his fingers are on those laces, like sometimes for quarterbacks. Here's Malusi into the end zone for the touchdown. So Chez Malusi is able to find pay dirt, and the fumble becomes six and maybe seven more for the Tigers. Defensive line just creating some space for Malusi. A zone read, Malusi patient, and then burst through for the sophomore. Out of Naples, Florida. Well, I'm not beating myself down about it. I'm my biggest critic, always have been. I know where to fix it because I'm not afraid to be critical of myself. That's something I've always done. Now it's just on a bigger scale. And Jeff Collins said, the last time that I saw that was Dak at Mississippi State. As Pumachon throws one to the sideline, that's in complete relationship. Jeff Collins is very aware. For this program to get to the, that kind of 
big dream and vision that he has, it's, it's going to be because of number 10. T number 10's got to become a, a big-time player. I don't care if you go 0-16. I do not care. Jets fans, Giants fans, whoever. I know you don't like to hear it, Bob. <laughs> Well, someone was saying this to me the other day. What would you do? Take the 0-16. Like, that is a worthy trade-off for your next 15 years at quarterback. Flag down on the last play. Sets up second down and long. Quarterback draw for Sims. He's a couple of yards shy of the first down. From a work ethic standpoint, a football intelligence standpoint, he's, he's everything, Marty, that I think any NFL organization would want their future CEO to be, and that's what you want. Jersey, got it. Pocket presence, toughness, got it. Willing to give you every last ounce of everything he's got, got it. He possesses everything you could possibly ever want in a quarterback. Number three that I bounced when number one wasn't there to me, meaning he went up and down with his shoulders. That affected his accuracy. I mean, I wasn't ready for that answer. I, I wasn't ready for a guy to be so prepared to answer that question and a player to be that good go, I, I knew, I knew I had to get better at these things. Guy who was actually just texting me not long ago saying, oh, you get to watch DJ play, you get to watch DJ play, because he lives out in California and he's right. <laughs> seen him play a bunch in high school football. Right at the first down line to gain on the dive forward. Lucy, let's see if... Clemson gets a fresh set of downs. The nose of the football just about to the line to gain. And for Tennessee. Yeah, I'd agree. That Kentucky one would be a little bit more jarring. With the Kobe Case up the middle dances close to a first down. And if it continues the trend that it has over the last four or five years, they're going to win a couple and win a ton of games. Tipped ball as Helms almost throws an interception. Well, being of some sort. Six times in a row. Right. Elms with a touch throw down the sideline. And he drops it into Kobe Pace. Sees man coverage. Pace gets that peel by the linebacker. Wait, wait, got to get up over him. Really nice job by Pace. And instead, it's a sprint draw to Kobe Pace. Pace running players over and picking up a first down. Just a beautiful handoff. Shovel pass. And there is the first touchdown pass for Hunter Helms as Kobe Pace is on the receiving end. Go to his left, read that defensive end. Once that defensive end comes up field, you just kick that underneath like a little option pitch. It's easier for a righty quarterback going to their left. 88. He said he never had another question that he would succeed in this job. And boy, has he succeeded winning his team in the country from 2011 to now. Kind of... Like, they just happened recently type of mind frame. And just you feel how appreciative of the journey that he is, how much he believes in what he's experienced. And then you value the football. That's what makes you go, man, this is a can't-miss player. This guy is a can't-miss guy at the quarterback spot. Well, making people miss is Michael Dukes. Wow, and convincingly so. As Hunter Helms on a rollout to the sideline. Will Brown makes the catch. Down to about the 35-yard line. It's kind of bittersweet because I realize how fortunate I am to be at a place like Clemson, surrounded by really good people. That makes it a lot easier to be great where my feet are. Touchdown, Tigers. Good play-by-play, -play, Marty. I mean, just, do you see any took us to break? In the last segment as well, showing I'm out. maximum out. versatility. We probably should. We should just do a headphone drop right now because there's nothing he can't do. Receiver <laughs> screen to a Joe. I mean, this is a big, this is a big young man now. 6'3", 210 pounds, violent, finish, long strider, get in the end zone. Great football mind. He speaks well of Jordan Bright future as well. Good friend. And Yates caught around the ankles at the line of scrimmage. Watch eight. The hand fight, the club, the awareness. Quarterback runs coming. And to go make that tackle. You don't want to just dip your head. On the road. 73 on the board today in Atlanta. And another 
Sideline slip for Ches Belusi. Seen uh, in the American as well as uh, in the ACC <laughs> and in the Big 12 and now in the NFL. Bruce Arians, Matt Rule. I can keep on going if you want me to. Yeah, it, it, it is definitely the kind of job that people run away from as quickly as possible <laughs> to a promotion. That this conference is nothing but Clemson and they just destroy all the competition. Mm -hmm. The rest of the conference is nothing but a bunch of pretenders. You got 18 to 22 year olds that got to show up every week and we know the state of our, our world right now. If you're gonna have the chance to get to Clemson this year, your secondary has to win the game. Following his positive, and so he'll be on the sideline for Alabama tonight. How about Massey? on what very well might be the final play of the game. Well, three seconds, he gets knocked out. I'm sure it's a great moment for him. Big time showing for Clemson today, showing that they are the number one team in the country, led by two Heisman front runners. Outstanding 70, performance. 73 to seven.